If you made it this far into the video, we're doing a bandana reveal. You guys ready? I know you've waited five, six years for this one. Maybe even longer than YouTube. Maybe even before Instagram. Maybe before you were even born, you were thinking, what does John look like when he does a bandana reveal? Hey, how do the sessions work? It's my first time riding here today. Dude, I remember the last time I wore elbow pads, but rules are the rules. Welcome to Cary Skate Park. This park is about 30 minutes from my house. You do have to wear full pads, which is the only thing I feel a little uncomfortable with the elbow pads. We gotta check this place out. This park is sick. Little guys over here, little boxes, little spines, little fun box, little A-frames, quarter pipes left and right. Fun box deal that has a rolling to a kicker, then a quarter to a quarter, then a quarter to bank. You can go bank bank. They pretty much got everything. And then obviously the big stuff, big box, big rolling, big quarter pipe over there, which we should try. Another big quarter pipe. And they got literally everything here, which is good because I don't ride this stuff anymore, which is why I need to come here more often. section very fun let's move to the middle section parents where are you Elbow pads, circulation in my arm is adios. Dude, made it. I went to the car to change my battery because I left the batteries in the car. And I realized that I had an extra pair of these G-Form knee pads that fit beautifully over my arms. Feeling and riding much better. Let's see if I can do a whip bar to manual. So whip, and there it is. We got the big boy section, look at this. That is the best I'm gonna get. We're gonna move to this little area, fun little box, quarter pipe to bank. About to do a trick that no one ever sees me do anymore. That was the last time, or maybe even the first time, you seen Johnny Boy strapped up with a helmet. Rules are rules. And in this park, whether it's a rule or not, I'm wearing a helmet. Very uncomfortable in a park like this. Just because I haven't done it in a while. I used to ride parks. After like three, four years of riding, my favorite thing were big boxes, big quarter pipes, big ramps. Maybe not big spines. Never really was a fan of spines. But either way, big wooden parks were my favorite. Now, I mean, I still like it. It's not like I hate it. I just don't ride it that often, which is why I feel a little squirrely. But we're making it so far. Learning a lot of stuff today and getting used to this park. Look at this, nice little step up. Let's try this out. Uno, dos, three, and there's four. We're gonna ride the box backwards, go from the landing, and do a finger whip manual. Regular finger whip manual, nothing crazy, right? Land manual, make it to the end of here. Don't go into this ramp, stop, use the brake, as everybody hates when we do, but use the brake, stop. Pull back, fakey Manny. Someone make it back to where we started and hopefully trick out. All right, count the tries.
There it is. Done deal. Never done that one before. Helmet boy's doing good today. My riding in this park might be very different than what people expect when you come to this park. You all right, you tired? Yeah. Come on, come on, breathe. Breathe better, you don't get as tired as fast. All right. So I'm saying, it was fun, man. All the stuff they were doing today, super fun. A lot of new learns, especially that last one. Finger whip manual to pull back, faking many double it. Come on. Feeling this right now. This is where we ended off very nice. Nose manual up to nose manual across and then nose manual down. <laughs> also switched up omen clamp and headset cap today. For this, I had the polished omen clamp and headset cap with the black fork. I figured having black fork all the way up from the headset to the clamp, going with the grips, going with the wheels. And the best part about this clamp is I've never had a problem with it. It never gets loose. Most clamps back in the day, or just anything, will always back up and loosen up. And it wasn't a problem. It's just kind of, you just lived with it. But this clamp, Omen clamp, super sturdy, super tight. One more combo. Got to go home to the dog to feed him, walk him. See if we can get one more combo. Try not to take too long. See if I can come up with something where we can use the quarter pipe and this pyramid. All right, 180. Fakey manual. Half cap manual to this quarter pipe. Come back fakey. Get to the bank and fakey three wood manual. And there you go. If you made it this far into the video, we're doing a bandana reveal. You guys ready? I know you've waited five, six years for this one. Maybe even longer than YouTube. Maybe even before Instagram. Maybe before you were even born, you were thinking, what does John look like when he does a bandana reveal? Bandana reveal. I didn't say no bandana reveal. <laughs> Those in a million subscribers, I'll shave my head and ride without a bandana. A million subscribers, you have my word. I'll do my best to not forget. And if anybody wants to keep watching these videos and subscribing all the way to a million, remind me. This is another local park. This one is about 35 minutes from the house. Just about the same drive as Apex and a little more than Chapel Hill Park. So to have Chapel Hill, Durham, and then you got Apex and then Cary. This park is sick. I'm gonna come here more often. Figure out more tricks to do, big ramps, big boy stuff off the ground tricks. If you guys want to see something, give me some ideas. Give me something that you would hit. And if you like this park, let me know if you come back. I mean, I'm going to come back, but let me know if you really want to come back often. If you guys want any of the scooter parts that I'm riding, link in the description, bluntenvy.com. From SIG deck to SIG wheel to titanium bars, they got everything. And then of course you click the video, best scooter skate park. And I believe in North Carolina, this is definitely the best park for scooters. One, because it's very welcoming to scooters, which is awesome. Two, there's just so many different obstacles here and all different size quarter pipes that you can really practice and train to get good at a skate park.